Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the monthly readings for April 2019. How are you all doing? Um, like I say, I haven't been around for a while. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I've been moving again. This is the eighth move in 18 months. So this one is permanent and I'm sitting out in my garden now. So it was worth the wait. It was worth all of the stress and hassle and everything. And it's a great place to work from here as well, because I can, you know, when you're in nature, I'm sitting here barefoot and it's much easier to connect. So uh, there's a little bit of a change of plan in how I'm doing the readings this month. It's just a little test, so please let me know uh, if it works for you. I'm going to be working on the elements, so it will be earth signs, air signs, water signs and fire signs as well. So please let me know if this works for you. And um, it, these are for your sun, moon and rising sign as well. I know I always resonate a lot with my rising sign, so I, I always look at my sun and my rising as well. Uh, if anybody hasn't subscribed already, then please subscribe. If anybody wants a personal reading with me, please click on the link below. Um, it will take you straight to, through to my book and ensure you my availability. But bear in mind, the availability does get booked up pretty quickly. So, you know, it, it's it's your first come, first serve kind of thing. Um, and if anybody would like to donate to this channel as well, that would be massively appreciated. Uh, the link will be below for that. I mean, these these videos take a lot of time, as do a lot of other readers, you know, and um, we, we love them, you know, but sometimes it's nice to have that little bit back. Even a pound, a dollar, a euro does make a difference. So there will be a link there if you feel it in your heart to give something back. OK, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoy these readings. I'm really excited to be doing them. Um, and like I say, this is the first time in nature. So please let me know what you think in the comments. OK, enjoy your readings. Hi, these are the readings for the Earth signs. So the first thing I'm going to go with what I'm picking up psychically for you. And what I'm getting here, I really feel this month it, there's going to be a test of I feel this is about connections, okay? People that are friends, maybe partners, work colleagues, things like that. It's any of our connections that we have, okay? And what I'm feeling here is it's almost like we need to look at are we being our true self within these connections? Because a lot of times we want acceptance. We want to be accepted. We want this feeling of belonging. And sometimes we can actually try and mould ourselves into what somebody else wants us to be rather than what we actually are. This, what happens with this and what they're saying here is if we are doing this, we can get into a situation where we get all in our head and it's like, are they really my friend? Do they really like me? Is it only because I do this? Do I need to do that in order to be accepted? And we can get into this state of analysis paralysis where our head is just all over the place and we end up thinking all of these crazy stuff. But this is all coming from the past and I feel this is prominent with earth signs. You know, with earth, it's all about being grounded. And like I say, when we are grounded, we are happy to be ourselves. If if other people don't like it, then that's their bag. It's nothing to do with us, okay? So this month, I feel that you are being asked or you will be shown areas where you might not be being true to yourself, okay? Um, funny, I'm, I'm an earth sign and something happened with a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, sorry, uh, with somebody where I had to stand in my truth, but it was almost like letting somebody else down. So it was, you know, do I let myself down or do I let somebody else down? And I, what I'd done was just explained why I had to make that decision. So it's like I say, communication is key, but also about being truthful, okay? Being truthful to yourself, being truthful to others, and looking at areas where you may not be telling the truth. You, you, you may be putting a mask on, you know, or you may just be doing this to be accepted. Now, if you are accepted for somebody who you are really not, then that is not a truthful relationship. And, you know, the foundations of it are already rocky. OK, so like I say, this is within friendships or whatever. Now, I do feel some earth signs as well really need to take a break. When I'm saying take a break, I mean, take a mental break, you know, uh, I've 
I've had quite a bit time off, but I realized that I haven't had any time off. My brain has been going 50 to the dozen all of the time. And even though my body may be resting, if your brain isn't resting, this is when we can suffer burnout, okay? And we can suffer exhaustion of the brain kind of thing, you know? And this is what we're being shown this month is take this time out. Take time out to rest. If you don't meditate, please meditate because even that, you know, 10 minutes a day. I mean, what is it they say? Everybody should meditate for 20 minutes a day. And if you ha haven't got time, do 30, you know, and this is it. It's, it's, it's about us keeping grounded. The world is in chaos at the moment, you know, and it always will be. But if we are centered within that eye of that storm, then we know that we're all right, okay? And we can kind of keep our direction, even though other things externally are thrown us off course, okay? So it's really giving your mind and your brain a break this month, okay? We're getting into the summer season. It's coming. You know, we, we can feel it. The energy's there, especially on this island. You know, you can feel it kind of, uh-oh. You know, it's, it's starting to come. The calm's over. But if we are in a good place, you know, and we are firing on all cylinders, then anything that happens externally will not affect us, okay? So that's what I'm picking up psychically. And I feel a lot of... Maybe have a look at things that are bothering you, you know, worries or things like that and see, are they actually coming from you or are they coming from other people, you know, or your need to appease other people and keep them happy at the cost of your own happiness? You know, are you helping other people up? you know, while you are falling down, you know, because it, 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 that's not good. You know, they always say when you're on an aeroplane, put your own oxygen mask on first before you help anybody else. OK, because otherwise, if you're not breathing, you know, then you're no good to anybody. So, you know, I know earth signs like to kind of fit in, you know, and like to help and like to please. But please help yourself and please yourself first. OK. So right, I'm going to go into your tarot reading now. That was what I was picking up psychically. And I do feel, it, it's almost like, a, what, what, what I'm feeling here, Earth Signs, is it's almost like I really feel a letting go. It's doing a complete 180 because I feel this year, and this year has been a testing year already, but I feel this year it's almost like about being in limbo, being stuck in this transition. It's almost like you're wanting to move, you're wanting to move on, you're wanting, you're seeing things differently and you're wanting to live your life in accordance to that. But there's still the old ways or the old habits or the old ways of being or the old people within your life that are kind of stopping it. So it's almost like you've been in this limbo. And what I'm seeing here is that it's time now to let these old thought patterns go, okay? Let them go. You're starting again. You're starting again from fresh. And I feel the work that you have to do, because we're all here to do work. We're all here for a purpose, okay? It's almost like you cannot do it if you're doing it the way you've done it in the past. It's not going to work. You know, like like me here, I'm doing these, these readings differently because it wasn't working the way I was doing it. So this is about you this month. It's all about you getting this solid foundation, okay? Where am I going in the future? Where do I want to go? And it's pointless just planning if you're not actually focusing on getting your feet planted firmly on the ground wherever you are. Now, this could be in relationships or with, it, with anything, but it's about your future will come better. You know, you, you will be able to achieve your goals better if you are coming from a solid place, okay? Because as I'm seeing in this, there's a lot of changes coming, but these changes are also with you, okay? This is it. You are changing. Um, and it's almost like I feel some of you are getting, you know, a lot more spirit messages. You could be connecting to spirit a lot more as well. You know, uh, a lot more ideas are coming because there's a real creative feel coming in for you. And I feel that this is walking away from any past patterns that have not served you, okay? So they could be highlighted. They might have already been highlighted or they could be highlighted this month. You know, you could be getting little tests saying, right, are you going to uh, are you going to handle this in the way you have always handled it? This could be codependency. This could be, you know, self-sabotage. This could be escapism, okay? It's like, I don't want to deal with this. 
I'm going to run off and do whatever it is that you do to try and escape the situation. But this month, it's almost like, no, I can't do that. I can't do it this way anymore. I've got to change the way I adapt to things. OK, so this I feel is, is good. It's really, really good. And I feel it could last for the next two months because what they're saying here is this is a huge opportunity for you. OK, a huge opportunity for growth, a huge opportunity for you to step up rather than step back. Because a lot of Earth signs, you know, they'll they'll keep themselves in the background rather than stepping up say front of stage kind of thing and they're saying that that is the old way you know the new way is now you being in your authenticity you believing in what you say or do and you standing up and voicing it to the world okay and this is it this is fabulous I'm really really liking the energy from from here as well now I do feel when they're talking about this as well I feel like I say, it's almost like you're going on an adventure, a bit like the fool, you know, you're going, right, okay, what is out there? And it's about taking a risk, you know, which is always, I mean, risks, you know, some people say, don't do them. I took a risk and pff, look at this, you know, a paradise. And it wasn't always easy, but it was taking that risk and thinking, right, okay, this is, is where I want to be. What I'm feeling here as well is I feel some of you, there may be a fire sign, okay? There may be a fire sign. Now, this could be somebody from your past or somebody with fire in their chart. Somebody who is quite passionate, okay? If they're not a fire sign, they have got this this fire in their belly and it, 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 it's burning, you know, it's, it's burning and they are coming towards you. Now, I feel <clears throat> with this, it's almost like this person may have distanced themselves in the past, but now it, it's almost like they've been weighing up the pros and cons, okay? It's almost like, do they want you in your life? You, you know, are, are you going to want them in your life? They've been on the sidelines, okay? And they've been thinking about this. But it's almost like I feel when they're coming back, you're going to be at this situation where you're like, you know what, if I'm an option, then I'm not an option. You know, that is the way I'm seeing it. Because you're standing your truth and you have this power and you have this confidence that is coming in this month, you're not going to take any shit from anybody. You're not going to be nasty, but you're not going to be going to take any shit neither. So this person coming back, you know, they might come back and it's, I'm sorry, and I love you and blah, 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 and offer you the world, okay? Because this is what I'm seeing. But it's almost like, yeah, but, you know, I was there when you were broken. I, I was there when I was there, you know, being the one to protect you and help you and everything. And you you weren't ready for that then. So this is going to be a test, OK, because this person, I do feel they're going to kind of offer you the world. But I feel their words are going to be, it's almost like you're going to analyze their words, okay? And you're going to pull their words apart because sometimes it's not what people say, it's what they do, okay? that That's it. If we listen, it's more what people do than what they say. And you're going to be on your guard here. There's nothing getting past you this month, Earth signs, okay? Nothing at all. So you're going to be protected. You will hear this person out, I feel, but then the decision is going to be your decision. It's not the fact that they've said, right, OK, I'm coming back. Everything's rosy now. You're going to, whoa, hold on a second. This isn't how it works now. Because like I say, you've stepped into this power, you know, and you know that you are going to be victorious no matter what. You know, you you know you can get through it because you've already been through it. If this person leaves again, you've already been through that. So you know you can you can get through this. So this is going to be your decision. Now I do feel there's a risk again involved. It's it's risk, risk, risk. You know, this is what it seems. Um, but it's keeping your your feet on the ground while your head are in the clouds, I think. So yeah, there could be this, it's almost like somebody's wanting to surrender, wave that white white flag kind of thing that it's almost like I'm getting Switzerland here. I don't know. They're neutral, aren't they? It's a neutral country. So there is going to be the chance of you maybe starting up an old relationship or somebody from your past coming in wanting a relationship with you. OK, now what I feel within this is if they are wanting you to be there as a support and guide and as this rock kind of thing, you know, to carry them because things are going shit again for them you're going to say no. You know, that is it. You're not, you're, you don't want to take on anybody else's burdens or anybody else's responsibilities. That was the old you. 
that was how you do thing, done things in the past and now you realise that that is what causes all of this head mess within you. So this is a challenge for you. It's almost like you're going to be tested here to see, right, are you going to go down the same old path again and do what you used to do or are you going to, going to change? And what I'm getting here is fairness, okay? It's all very well helping somebody, but not if they're not helping themselves and also not if they're not giving back. So I feel within this, it's almost like you're willing to have negotiation talks with somebody. Um, please get somebody, if it, you know, I think we should put all of you in uh, all of the earth signs in here and try and negotiate Brexit because the way I'm seeing you here, you're taking no shit, you know, and this uh, that's just the biggest shitstorm going, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so this is almost like you being in your truth, you, you listening to somebody and then you putting your side of the argument in as well, okay? And realising that you have opportunities Options here. At one time you might have thought this person was your world, you know, and your world might have fell apart when they left, but you've healed and you've got stronger, you know, and it, it's like the Gloria Gaynor song, isn't it? Um, do you think I'd crumble? Do you think I'd fall down and die? Oh no, not I, you know, this is it. I will survive and this is it. You're in survival mode, which is really, really good. You've done a lot of healing. There's more healing to come. Any disappointment from the past, it's almost like you're letting that go as well. This person who's coming back in is still holding a lot of guilt and a lot of pity as well, self-pity, and they are tied to that. They are tied in this fear, okay? And it's whether you want to actually allow that back into your life because what I'm seeing here is you've cut through the crap yourself, you've started this life for yourself, you've started again, it's like I get knocked down, I get knocked up again, you know, you are actually living in a place where you are happy, you know, you might not have everything you want, but you have everything you need. And this is what you need to communicate. Anything that is going to like kill your buzz, you don't want it in your life. You're looking to the future. You're determined to get on, okay, and get over something. You don't want to fight no more, you know, but you need to trust, okay? So like I say, somebody is going to offer you an olive branch. I don't feel they're in a happy place, okay, I feel your happiness, your, you will bring them happiness if that makes sense, um, and I feel like they are a little bit scared of the future, they don't know what's coming, you know, so this person could be coming to your home, this person could need a break, this person is like, it's, it's, it's almost like this person needs to share, they need to share, they need to spill, they need to, um, they need to get something out. This is it. They need to purge in a way. This is what I'm getting, purge. And it's almost like you are going to be catalyst in them doing this, okay? So it's it's a big emotional time. This is what I'm feeling here, Earth Signs, okay? But like I say, you've changed. There's changes around this situation, okay? Where somebody I feel couldn't couldn't offer you everything they maybe now can because it's almost like there is something ended in their situation you know and then they're kind of you know it's almost like they're free now you know this could have been somebody getting out of incarceration or it could have been somebody metaphorically you know where they were they were unable to make a move it was almost like checkmate this is what i'm what i'm getting checkmate you know in 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 um in chess, isn't it? You know, but there's new beginnings coming for you. This month is going to be catalyst for something very, very powerful that is going to happen in August, in the summer. Okay. Um, like I say, this could be, there could be air sign, there could be fire sign involved with this. Somewhere where there has been pain will now, it's almost like the karmic cycle is going to be able to be changed or transmuted. Where there was pain, it's transmute that into love, okay? Where there was guilt, it's transmute that into kind of freedom, okay? Because, or, or, or forgiveness as well. Where there was guilt, it's forgiveness, they're saying. So this is it, and this could even be this person forgiving themselves. But it's going to be a hefty old month, I feel, earth signs, okay? Well, But the whole thing within this is... 
you are going to feel very in control, okay? It's up to you. You make the decisions. You call the shots. You say when. You say where. It's almost like pretty woman, you know, when she says to him, I say when, I say who, I say where, you know, and this is it. This is you. You are in control here. Nobody is going to push you around. Nobody is going to take advantage of you. You are happy to share, but you are not happy to just give like what you have in the past, okay? This has got you worn out. Now you are kind of, you know, you are well on the way to living the life that you want. Like I say, a lot of ideas. You've had this time alone, done a lot of soul searching, I feel. Um, you have patience now and it's almost like you're in control of your emotions, okay? So there is a choice. This could lead to massive stability okay when it's done on your terms this is it you know when you give too much then everything is out of balance and nothing's going to work but as i talked about in here there's this solid foundation coming you know and when you have that solid foundation then everything that is built on that, you know, is kind of built to last, okay? So this is where it's 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 kind of tough love. You, you're being tough, standing in your power, but this really gives an opportunity from the past to be healed, to be revisited, and to be kind of put on a different track, okay? A track to success, a track to happiness, and it it kind of, I don't know, I'm seeing big celebrations here, okay? It's like the sun is shining on you. What happened in the past is about to be transformed, okay? And this is going to work for all parties, not just for you, but it's about you being present, you standing up for yourself, and you no longer being kind of a doormat, okay? This is it. It's I'm willing to work with you, but it's on my terms, okay? And your terms will be thought out. They're neutral, as I said before. They're neutral. They're not just what's in it for you. It's how you can make this situation work for all involved, which in the past, I don't feel it did, okay? So I'm going to pull you a spirit card now and see what spirit have to say. Sorry, there was a little jump in this. I was busy recording and the battery died. So uh, yeah, just at the end there. So I'm going to pull a spirit card for earth signs and see what we have. I love working outside. This is so cool. So much fun. Oh, 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 oh. They're all over here. I haven't used these ones for, oh, there you go, there you go. Right, okay, look, what a beautiful card, Flame of Love. Oh, can you see it there? almost like it could stand in that garden couldn't it i love that um so yeah what this says is allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions yet stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth the healing power of love will help you burn through all illusion and you will discover new possibilities this is a powerful time of transformation ideas and creativity so there you go boom <laughs> exactly what i've just been saying so yeah, Earth Signs, I feel it's a pretty, it's a good month, but there's going to be a lot going on. When you get to say, kind of May, June, and you look back, you're going to think, wow, April was insightful, um, enlightening, and pretty full on as well, but all in the right direction. Like I say, that fire's not burning out of control, it's burning in the right direction, and you are keeping it under control. Okay, so have an absolutely fabulous month. Please let me know in the comments if this worked for you, uh, them being done like this. Please let me know if these readings resonate with you. And if anybody does want a personal reading with me, please click the link below and it will take you straight to my booking. Okay, have a fabulous month, Earth Signs. Satnam.